Hey everyone, Morgan here. So I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Sheets to make a graph for a science class. Now there are a lot of different applications that will do graphing. You can also find the video that I've prepared about Microsoft Excel. But the reason I wanted to include one about Google Sheets is it's available to you no matter what platform you're using. This is being recorded using a Macintosh desktop, but these same applications will run the same way on your Chromebook or laptops. So this is just the Google page. You see the Google Doodle for the day. And over here, are these little dots, which I will click on and I'll scroll down until I see Sheets. And that's the Google app that I'm going to choose. And then I am going to choose a blank sheet. There we go. Now I need data. So I'm going to put in some made up data, which is going to be a straight line. There are my X values. Now I'll put in my Y values. And that is represented by the equation Y equals two X. So I will highlight the data using my mouse, I will go to insert, and then I will insert a chart. There's my chart. Over here, under chart type, I am very specific. We are going to use an XY scatter plot. There we go. And then to make things easier to see, I'm going to click on those three little dots in the upper corner and I'm going to go down to move to own sheet. There we go. So now that's the only thing on the screen that I am looking at. I'll click on edit chart. I've already done the type of chart. Go over to customize, chart, and access title. So for my chart title, I'm going to give it a name that represents what we are graphing. So mass versus volume. If this was the first lab for Honors Chem, I'm going to put that in the center. And then I'm also going to give it a subtitle here, which will be my name. And I'll put my period in there also. And I will also put that there in the center of the page. Okay. Now, Horizontal axis title, I can choose that. And the horizontal axis will be volume. And I will include the unit that it is measured in, which is milliliters. And then vertical axis title, mass, grams. And that matches that first lab for honors chemistry. Now, the next choice down here under series allows me to format a lot of different stuff. I like to immediately come down here and click on trend line. And that's going to give me a trend line. That is not a connect the dots line. That's just a line that's going to go through the majority of the data points. If they're not perfectly on a line, it will have a pretty equal number above and below the line. Okay, that's what our data looks like. <laughs> and then down here, I'm going to click on show the R squared value. Okay. And for label, I'm going to use the equation for it. So now here I have that these blue dots represent y equals 2x plus zero. And the R squared value is equal to one. Now what the R squared value tells you is how close a fit your data is to that specific function. Okay. And in this case, it's a perfect fit because I just used the equation in my head to generate the data. Okay. Now I can click on that and move it around. It's not wanting to do that this time. We'll get back to that. <laughs> legend. I do not like having a legend on these. That's not cool. Okay, not when you've only got one, you know, data line, you really don't need a legend. Now for the horizontal axis, I am happy that the minimum has been set as zero, 
but it might look better if the minimum was set to 1.0, which was the lowest number of my data, and the maximum was 10.0. Okay, close that out. And for the vertical axis, that would be 2.0 and 20.0. And what happens now is that that line fills up the whole page, okay, the entire graph. So I'm really happy with that, okay? For some reason, that's not wanting to move around. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much what you want your graph to look like. At this point, I can export it as a PDF. I can just straight print it, okay? Always make sure you save a copy of it because that is a graph that you might need to edit in the future if there were mistakes on it. And every student will be expected to produce their own graph. You will not just print your partner's graph with your name edited onto it. Okay, thanks for tuning in. This is Morgan, signing off.